What the hell is wrong with our world today that an eight-year-old girl is sexually assaulted and instead of police arresting the monster who perpetrated the sickening attack, they dragged the child's father away. A close mate of mine who we'll call TR so this video doesn't get banned because these days unless you're willing to smear his name, you'll get removed from this platform. TR took his young family to what was supposed to be a fun-filled day at a local swimming pool for kids. While in the pool, his daughter was molested by a fully grown man who was there with two other fully grown men, no kids. TR's daughter did what we all hope our child would do in that horrific scenario. She went straight to her dad to tell him what had happened. And then, um, your bum like that. Yeah. Oh, so it's not like he's even accident. Is so, if, so you're like this or you're like this? Talking to You're saying talking to Macy. He's gone past Macy. like that. Okay, and then gone like that. Yeah. As you can imagine, TR immediately looked, found, and confronted the man who then admitted to him accidentally groping his little girl. In an effort to stop the man from getting away, TR restrained him until police got there. It took police two hours to answer the call for help. And in the pedo's attempt of escaping, he sustained some minor injuries. But relieved when police finally arrived, TR handed the pedophile straight over to officers. In a shocking twist, police let the pedophile go and arrested TR for assault. So I'm going to come to you sexually starts my daughter, you come and nick me. And you haven't even nicked him. It's what's wrong. He's assaulting someone. He's assaulting my daughter. She's eight years old. We're talking about I've fucking assaulted someone. He broke my daughter. He broke my daughter. You're fucking nicking me. Why don't you nick him? Because we're going to... We're going to... You're nicking me. They claim they were doing it for the pedos safety to ensure that TR doesn't beat him. Now remember, TR had two hours to batter his daughter's attacker and he didn't. Even though any decent father wouldn't blame him if he did, TR posed zero threat to the kitty fiddler. Yet the real risk was set free to continue preying on young innocent children. And right on cue, the mainstream media pumped out their fake news condemning TR as a violent thug that picked a fight with some random and probably innocent person. Not one mention of the sexual assault against his baby girl. I want you to understand that, that, that's, holy f no, no, not today. Facebook went on to ban anyone who published the truth about what actually had happened. And mainstream media journalists began to mock TR and call his child a liar. Apparently we should believe all Me Too victims unless we don't agree with their father's politics. What a sick stance to have. These are men and women who are in the media who are able to go ahead and say, fuck it, fuck an eight-year-old girl, it's okay. Uh, are you, are, are, are any of you, like, actually understanding what's going on? They're openly supporting your children to be molested, sexually assaulted, and happy about it. Don't be like Elizabeth Amon. Don't let your hate for TR trump your love for an innocent child. I personally love Tia, but even if I didn't, even if I hated the bloke, I would support him in taking down any pedophile, not only for his innocent child's sake, but for the sake of every other potential victim. I, I can't stress this enough. This is your families. This is your children. This is your police force actively making it okay to diddle other people's children and then blaming blaming an eight-year-old girl for letting this happen if 
you're one of those people siding with the pedophile just because you hate TR that much. I want you to imagine for two seconds what effect you're having on the innocent eight-year-old victim. When you act like that, you leave the poor girl blaming herself. She did the right thing. And instead of her witnessing justice, she watched her father, her dad, the one she loves being dragged away in cuffs. Imagine he goes to jail for it. What do you think that will do to... Uh, just, just try to understand this. How many fathers just across the United States have had to go through this? Trying to protect their kids. Knowing that the CPS, the police, everyone out there is more than happy to see this happen. I mean, how are... This has been going on for more than 20 years. Solid. All documented. And now we have open media accounts out there absolutely supporting this behavior. And at the same time, these very same people will talk about how men are the victims and how the media doesn't want to protect them. And here they are. Absolutely advocating for this to happen. To her. Your actions create the kind of environment that has allowed grooming gangs to thrive in Britain and enabled, empowered, emboldened predators to go as far as joining that very same police force that failed his daughter that day. TR faces the Luton Magistrates Court on the 2nd of April and I hope thousands attend in support. I also hope one of you expose the pedophile that day. Show his face to the world and who knows? You may save a lot of potential British children from becoming his next victim. And it's not just British kids. You know, right here in Portland, Oregon, we have, I believe, 14 foster children that came forth with what was happening. And our governor is actively trying to hide that. Just a little while ago, they just made a new law in California that actively goes into protecting people who assault children. This is real, folks. This is in California. This is here in the United States. This is happening all over. And it only is happening because you allow it. I mean that. I mean, how, what more is it going to take? So, I ask you if you can give us that information. If you have any video, any footage at all, let us know about it. Give it to us. Give it to people like me. Send it to Andy No. Send it to Project Veritas. Post it on 4chan anonymously so that you don't get docs. That's very important. Listen, I know you're scared. I know. I know you feel that the world is entirely just messed up. I understand this. I know how it feels to be alone. I know how it feels to know that if you say something, your life will go to hell. It will absolutely be destroyed. So, there are people that are already here. That would be me. And many others out there that are willing to go ahead and take the flag. Help us get the information on these individuals. And unlike everybody else, I'm not going to go and pretend we're going to be able to do anything about it because we aren't. That's the truth. That is the sad truth. There is nothing that is going to stop these people from getting away with it. Not now. That comes later. What you can do now is let us know who is involved. Let us know the three men that were involved in this. And I do mean the three. The three men that came. We want to know who they are. We want to know who these beliefs are. We want to know their names. If these people are okay to boast about this, then they're okay to boast about their heroes. So make it seem like that if you need to. But I want to know, me, who these people are. So we can congratulate them and award them what they exactly have we're a part of, okay? 
speaking from one father to other fathers out there and other mothers. Many of us know how it's like when you're all alone. And I know many of you have given up. Don't give up. There are people out there that will help, that do care, that will do something. Just let us know who they are. But protect yourself first. Make sure you're anonymous. Make sure that you don't get doxxed, that the media does not come after you, that the government and the police don't come after you. You've had a lot of whistleblowers in the UK, and you know what? They all get their... <laughs> yeah, ask them how that worked out for them. But you don't have to jeopardize anything of your life. Let us do that. Do that. We, we can handle it. Just give us the information of who they are. And you're home free. You've done your part to change the world and make it better. To protect children. To protect families. And to help us try to stop this from happening all over the world. Thank you.